the Queen not attending today. That's a big deal because we know Her Majesty loves horse racing. You, you heard that equine reference during the Thanksgiving service at St Paul's Cathedral uh, yesterday. But um, we can find out why this race is so important in the racing calendar and also why the Queen loves it so much with, as, as I mentioned, Simon, who's with us now. Simon, really good to talk to you. Thank you for speaking to us this morning. First of all, obviously it's disappointing the Queen's not going to be here. But she'll be watching it on TV, and you've still got lots of stuff happening today to mark the occasion. No, absolutely. And morning, Paul. Welcome to Epsom Downs Racecourse. Welcome to Derby Day. A really special day. And yes, it's unfortunate that Her Majesty won't be joining us today, but we do know that she loves her racing. So we do know that she'll be watching it on TV. And just in case she wants to have an early look at the riders, she'll have the race cards with her shortly to perhaps put a flutter on this afternoon. Yeah, um, uh, you've already uh, commemorated or, or celebrated, I should say, the, the Platinum Jubilee. You've renamed one of the stands behind us now already. That's right. So the Queen stand behind me um, is actually 30 years old um, itself. Uh, yesterday strangely enough but on Thursday as part of a community event we renamed that stand the Queen Elizabeth II stand as a celebration of the 70 years on, on the throne. Yeah. And then today Guard of Honour is that right? Guard of Honour today so we're welcoming uh, Princess Royal this, this afternoon with 40 jockeys with 40 young children from around around the community just to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee weekend. Yeah and it's a Guard of Honour I believe with current and former jockeys is that right of the of the Queen's? Queen's current former jockeys and also um, some of the trainers and the connections that she's worked with over the many years. So a real celebration of everything that she's brought, not only to Epsom and the Derby, but also the industry as a whole. Yeah, because uh, the thing to know about the Queen is she's only ever missed two derbies and she's never won it. It's one of the only flat races she hasn't won, right? You, you're absolutely right. She's actually missed four, but two of those were really out of her control as part of the pandemic. But yeah. she's missed two um, in, in previous years. But it is one of it is the only... Um, of the classics that she hasn't won and unfortunately it won't be this year either yeah and, and we're not too worried about the weather are we let's be honest we did a very british thing of holding umbrellas we should add by the way we're holding umbrellas but 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 we're, we're not going to put them up are we because because we're not going to let the weather phase us we're not going to let the weather phase us this is going to last probably another 45 minutes and then we're going to be dry for the rest of the today true british style we'll carry them but we won't put them up yeah, there you go. Simon, really good to talk to you. Thank you so much. Uh, Simon Durrant there, the general manager of Epsom uh, Racecourse. So the, just to give you an idea of timings today, uh, the races kick off from two. There are seven races, including the Derby at 4.30. Reckon the general public will start to file in from 11, and then the Royal Family are expected sometime between one and two. Princess Anne, I should say. There's, just very quickly, Simon, I was going to ask you, I know we've just said goodbye, Simon, but Simon, there's not, do you don't think there's an outside chance that the Queen might, at the very last minute, think, do you know what? I feel a bit better today. I might just pop down. You know that better than I. Let's wait and see. Yeah, well, that's the hope anyway. That's the hope anyway, Anne and, Anne and Stephen. But that's, uh, that's how it's looking here at Epsom today.